All right, let's install the Kraken Vesla chassis braces on this Kraken Vesla electric. So you'll begin by removing the screws that hold the front top brace on and the center chassis brace. And you might as well remove that rock that's been hitching a ride for a while. On the center brace, there's a little alignment hole, and then there's two holes on the bottom. This is the new heavy duty center brace. This fits the Kraken Vesla electric models. There's a front bracket and a rear bracket. And it's pretty cool because the front bracket perfectly sandwiches onto the front top brace there. One thing to keep in mind is that uh, you want to keep your hardware set aside where which bolts go where. A couple of them are reused. These two that hold the that go where the uh, steering bell crank is, those ones are changed. And so you'll end up with a little bit longer one because when you sandwich those braces together, you end up with it being a little bit more thick than the original one. You do need to put that screw in for the center top brace first because once you sandwich those pieces together, uh, you can't access it. So you'll want to organize your hardware, get everything set up. Those flathead screws are what hold those two pieces together. All of these, because they're metal to metal, they do get a little bit of blue thread lock. So this is that longer bolt that we were talking about that goes through the steering bell crank. And then those two button head screws are used for the rear shock tower uh, center mounting brace. So these screws got some blue thread lock. And then those two screws on the front that go in the bulkhead, those go into plastic, so those don't need any thread lock, and those are just the original bolts. Uh, you got those two screws on the bottom for the center chassis brace. Uh, I always like to loosely install everything and then tighten it. This is the center HD brace, so again, this only fits the Kraken Electric model, it doesn't fit the gas model. But this thing's awesome. It's 16 millimeters in diameter and spans the front to the back. It has those little recessed spots. That's where those O-rings will go into place. So you slip the O-rings in and then install the button head screw and lock nut. Make sure that you keep it so that it's not uh, overly tightened. And then the rear end, you've got the mounting bracket that goes to the shock tower. So those screws get a little bit of blue thread lock. Uh, install those O-rings again for that center back brace spine piece and install the thread lock, or sorry, the, the nylon locking nut and the button head screw. So this is a pretty easy installation, didn't take long at all, but this is really super helpful in keeping your Vesla running true. So as you can see, it spans across the, the chassis really nicely. These are all the upgrades that we put on in this series. Thanks again for tuning in and watching this uh, build series. Uh, stay tuned where we go out and we do a test run of all the changes so we can see how it performed. Thanks again.